Hey, Willie, you look great. You look you look sleepy. Fuck off, I'm tweeting. We're doing the we're doing the video now. Fuck off, I'm tweeting. You're tweeting the photo of you looking sleepy. I'm tweeting. Yeah. Are you just gonna be tweeting? Like, Willie, we need to check our choices because we don't remember what happened. Fuck off, I'm so, tweeting. We let Ruben get a black eye, and uh, we also went to, to save Lucas from the Iron Golem, and we helped Petra, and we let Lucas leave the shelter. Remember that? Who? Yep. Uh, so what I... Uh, <laughs> probably my favorite thing about this choices menu is that it shows that Chapter 2 had two choices, and it's whether or not you shot something with a bow, and one name you went by, and that was it. The rest was all autopilot. And then we helped our friends, and uh, we followed Lucas, and then we didn't high five Ruben. <clears throat> remember that? You remember that? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, let's play. You know. We, now, hey, listen. We recorded probably the best thing we could have prior to doing this. Yeah. And now we're gonna do, we're, do one up it. So remember when we started doing this? It was like, haha, funny jokes. There was the order of the stone. And assembly required, and last place you look, and then a block and hard place, and then there was order up, and right? And I was like, oh, that's. And then it. I was like, okay, well, all. we can do that. And then they were like, no, you get this one, mm -hmm. and, and then, then you get this one, and don't forget about. And it. then you get this one. Yeah. And all three of these is the characters just in front of fucking portals. Yeah. And it's like, ah, that's funny. Well, guess what? That's all the people fucking <laughs> no. the stupid kids watch. That's hey man, let's get hey, let's get in. Hey, stupid kids, stupid kids. Where, where, where's that Minecraft, Minecraft movie coming out? Mode. What happened to that? Know. Is not a thing. A film. I don't fucking know. Okay, well. Just a block. Anyway, so I don't remember. We recorded. Shut up. We recorded <laughs> Salty <laughs> Bet. And just now. We did it Salty Bet for for sips. And that's pretty good primer. Yeah. To kill uh, two hours. Yeah. Far and I don't know. In search of the order of the stone. If uh, you're new to the channel, yeah, and you've never watched the Minecraft LP, uh, go watch a different video first. Um, and then keep doing that. And a way to yeah. stop the wither. Uh, you should actually keep doing that. Do you think even if, but even if well we like, do you think does this get better views than? Duke and Grandpa? Oh god, I don't... I never... What's the other one, bad Duke one? Was I in it? Yeah, Walking Dead Season 2. Yeah, but people watched that. No, they, people, they hate, it. people hate watch and that. Danganronpa was, um... Unfor was just unfortunate, but... Um, you gotta kill all those kids, man. Yeah. I vaguely remember this. And though some glimmer of hope may remain... I remember is that, none is of that... that. Is that That's, fucking... All I remember is that Lee was in this. this world, is that the, the professor from Futurama? Is far from over. Farnsworth? That's not Farnsworth. I don't know. It sounds like a Farnsworth. But that doesn't... I mean... remember Patton Oswalt was there. Yeah, he got paid. That was sad. Yeah, he got, he's still getting paid. Just like... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Minecraft? Or Lego movie? Or, um... Uh, emoji movie. Is all this? Because Minecraft kills the soul, but like Minecraft emoji is, movie. Mine, okay, here's here's how I here's how I see it. They're both soulless corporate cash-ins, right? I'm just gonna see if I can. Oh wow, I didn't do that. I'm, so, I'm we're gonna I the think, fail through. Remember? Yes. Why well, you shouldn't have done that? Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't do that. Okay, good. I didn't do anything. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Minecraft wins simply because. The main problem with most of Minecraft is just that its target demographic means it's not... It doesn't have to be put effort into what it's doing. Right? Yeah. You can be pretty lazy about that. Whereas yeah. the Emoji Movie just doesn't even understand what well, it's trying to do. Yeah, here's here's my logic on why Minecraft is better than the Emoji Movie. Minecraft has value. Yes. There is value on this earth. Yeah. To Minecraft, it is a game that people play and many have enjoyed. I got it for my nephew, for fuck's sake. Yeah, right? exactly. Emojis. They have no value. In fact, emoticons are superior to emojis. There you go. And Absolutely. those are made entirely out, out, of, text. out of text. Yep, 100%. And they're cuter. Yep, I agree. You don't have to deal with someone's... 
art interpretation on it. It's just the text. Not gonna be able to outrun it. I think um, we gotta find a way I think the faster. winky face with the We're tilde the is a better winky face. I think the uh, the Guys, anything that ends with the, the the what is it? The capital B? Yeah. Bucktooth? Like mm. yeah. yeah, I like that face. Everybody get on. I'm so glad I'm not making any of these choices. So the problem though I mean, I mean, besides the obvious, if anything. Like, the issue with Minecraft is more that it's not our taste, but it's fine. Yes. This is what P certain kids need and enjoy, and that is fine. Well, it's just video game Legos, man. But it's not my, it's not what I'm, yeah, into. Because I loved Legos as a kid and all that, so I, I get it. How long is this going to give me? But yeah, but yeah, the Emoji movie itself. I refuse. Yeah, he's just going to get on by himself. There you go. Yeah, nailed it. Hey, but the Emoji this? Movie uh, on, represents Jesse, people looking. You at must have seen it, right? We'll no, the but the Lego Movie, right? Yeah. And the and the um, uh, uh, Wreck It Ralph were good Gabriel. examples of things people care about being put Hold together on, in this kind of ride. like Marvel vs. Capcom way. Yes. Of like, oh fuck, hey cool, there's that I thing. really like Wreck-It Ralph, and I actually really like the explanation of why Mario is not in that on, game. Uh, not, not in that movie. Ooh, good mistake to make, actually. But, do, um... Isn't it, it, isn't it because, uh, uh, uh... Ralph and such, like, represent that game? No, actually. Um... Me. So Sonic's in it, and Sonic's got a little... PSA the in the background. In it. Um, Peach is there. So the deal with Mario is, wow. Wow, I'm super not doing anything. Uh, the thing with Mario is, they okay, listen. We, we have Nintendo characters in the game, like we in the in the movie, right? Peach is there. We talked to Nintendo. We got the clearance. They were cool with it, right? But we didn't put Mario into Wreck It Ralph because Mario is too big. If we put Mario in. He would straight up overshadow our main the characters. Entire room, yeah, okay. Especially considering the similarities between Ralph yep. and Fix and Felix. Yep. So they're like maybe for the sequel as like a major the, character, the, the major other character. Yeah, I mean, but that would require a lot more stuff to do with Nintendo. One hundred percent. Like it, it would be weird for Mario to show up as a com a cameo, considering he's the most important character ever. Yeah, it's bigger than me. It, it, the, the explanation they gave is like, well, you put Mickey Mouse in your in your fucking movie as a as a cameo character that says three things and then leaves. And it's like, what the fuck? It's, it's fucking it's Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Yeah, no, that makes that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Well, I super don't need to do this. Well, you need, probably need to do that. Though. I probably need to do that one. So I love finding out which ones matter and which ones don't because it's about ten percent of them. Yeah, man. It, so the one Especially the one, if the ones that look the worst are the ones where it it like the same thing happens either, either way. So here you took damage, right? Yeah. And here you take damage. Or, no uh, damage. Or the horse takes a hit. But then there's a jump, right? Where it's like it just does it. That was all me. I did those. You did those. I'm gonna assume that one was important. There was a hole in the ground one where I just he just the horse ran just forward. Just ran forward past the hole in the ground. Anyway. Oh, no. So yeah, TJ oh, no. Miller, Patton Oswald, you guys got your paychecks, I understand. Uh, I would love a paycheck to be in a movie like this. Notch got his paycheck. Enderman. Notch got the biggest paycheck. He showed it to Jay-Z through the window. Je jealously staring at his house. Enderman move blocks, it's what they do. Guys, oh on. guys, then, whatever. Like right now. You know what? I'm just gonna close my eyes. Yeah, you're just close my eyes. I'm just gonna close my eyes. I got some. Oh, make it yourselves, you little bastards. Hurry it up. Make it yourselves, you little fucks. Fucking do it. But yeah, I guess I was trying to tell people that don't know what this is showing up on the schedule. Yeah. About. Well, you, you, I think you kind of get it by now. If you haven't figured out what this is, then you, 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 you should, you should. Are we gonna do the whole sequence over now? Oh, did something happen? Are you serious? Happen? Yeah, we got killed. Oh. I wasn't like I that. guess I gotta play the game. Oh, no. These make no difference. That was fun. Ugh. That is a Patton Oswalt right there. 
That's a Patton Oswald special. Hmm. I still think these are better than that last episode of The Walking Dead that we played. So anyway... That's astonishing. So anyway... Um, so you think I should, uh, watch Ghostbusters before I watch the Plinket review? Absolutely. Because I haven't watched Ghostbusters, and I'm wondering if I should watch it and then you should, do the review. You should, you should watch it. Just for the context and of you should, bad. you should not watch the review immediately afterwards. Nah. Right? You should give it, like, a day. So that you have times for your own personal yeah. thoughts to percolate. Because again, like, I did, yeah, like you mentioned earlier, like, I did see Baby's Day Out as a kid. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why everyone also saw Baby's Day Out as a kid. I think it played a lot on, like, Fox or something. No, I saw it in theaters. Wow, I saw it on the TV much later. It's a good movie, it's fun. I think I saw it in Grenada. It's legitimately a fun little baby movie. I like it. Or I, either Baby's Day Out or Baby Geniuses. Okay, these are different, man. No, I know. Baby's Day Out has. I know. It's just a Looney Tune skit. I know, but we Baby Geniuses is the one where they're talking. It. Yeah, fuck that, Jesse. Babies can't Gabriel fucking was talk. Some pretty well, weird stuff back on that Baby horse. Geniuses, they can. It's the whole thing is like when you turn, when you get old enough to learn how to talk, then you you actually become stupid. I'll go talk to like a baby. But when you're first born, hey, you you're feeling? brilliant. Is the story. So I think it's like a year in or two years in when you start to form. As soon as you form your first word, all your genius brain stuff why goes away. It's based on a dumb theory. Yeah. Yeah. Bored people come up with bored things. Oh yeah. And back before the internet, they had nowhere to put them. Does the baby genius fuel the time cube? I mean, look. The same people came up with shit to say that if you step over my baby, he's gonna stop growing, so you better not step over him. I've events. never heard that one. Superstitions. You, you're the one who Just making fun of that. Tell I fucking... There's a bird on? in the house, someone's gonna die. Everyone's died dead because you dreamed that your teeth were falling out. Holy shit! I just realized how we fucking bafflingly stupid that hey, superstition was by my mom. So my mom, when, when I was like... Friend. I don't feel six, safe. No, like well, three or four, right? A, mm -hmm. a bird got monster. into the house. Yep. Okay? Yep. And her and my grandmother Foul. became convinced was that sure was going to cause a gunner. death in the family. Well, okay. Right? Yep. And then a couple weeks later, my great uncle Edward Just died. Yeah. And they were, oh, it's because we let the bird in the house. That's the reason. Madness. Right? And it's there, like the fact that great uncle Edward death. was like 89, 90, 91 years old had nothing to do with it. But then I realized How? my How mom this have happened? kept a pet bird for most of my young life. Well, it's not just a friend, <laughs> but a member of the uh, Budgies, usually, uh -huh. right? And, so she, and she loved those it's things. not that kind of bird. And it's like, that's a bird in a house. No, so it's not that kind of bird. And by the way, it wasn't a crow that got into our house either. Yeah, no, if it was a crow, crows are... Yeah, they're portents of death. Well, let's right? let can can we break this down in a way that usually we don't? Because that's the thing is let's 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 really get into this now. So the concept of a house is just a building that you live in. Wow, you're breaking it down farther than I expected. And if an animal happens to wander from its nature, natural habitat outside your window, a few feet to the left inside of the window of this place that's protecting you from the rain, it creates a DNA locked death field. <laughs> That's Our that's the that's the failure. problem for me. Is Why when any time something sounds pretty stupid, I zoom out as far as possible to maximize how dumb it looks, well, and it becomes the work. most the insane is, babbling bullshit. Because it has to be a family Why member, right? Be? It has to be a family, so it has to be DNA or DNA familial locked. locked. Yeah. But, I, I mean, Great Uncle Edward, he lived like, you know, 30, 40 kilometers from us, and yeah. some of our other relatives, yeah. they yeah. lived uh, out in yeah. Toronto or yeah. like uh, uh, fucking uh, Nova Scotia. What so that tech? means yeah. the, the field. It. Yeah. It stands. Unless it's like chain tech. lightning. Well, what if the bird flies the into the house on the day that you're moving was out? Thrown from the monster. If it's not your house anymore, someone else signed the lease, but your stuff is still in there? Just okay. So I bought the lease. I signed it. It's my house now. Yeah. But you're st you're moving your stuff out. Yeah. And it's all moving into the trucks, and then a bird flies in. All right. What if the bird flies sure in? They were gone, but as you're moving out, and he crosses storm? the threshold, Listen, if my just alive, as you leave, so you're I'm actually in the clear, right? You know what? Fuck it. I'm they taking this phone me, call. Jesse. You're gonna take a phone oh. call? I suddenly feel really. Different. 
Easy. 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 I got you. Yeah, that's. Yeah, don't, don't say horrible things. Who are you talking to? Oh, this is awkward. I gotta. Like right now, it's kind of shocking that he took the phone call at all. Yeah, you can you can text him all you want. Who was that? All right, all good. Look, Soren. I said was that I important? Ah, uh, having I'm having mom over Actually, for dinner. Oh, that's nice. And uh, we're doing some groceries. So, oh, like that's sweet. Anything? Trying to figure out what she eats Not because really. I will let she you eats know weird shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, we're ve vegetarian, vegan stuff. Not I vegan stuff. Vegetarian. I need stuff. to I need to dial back to the the idiocy meter. What if? Okay. What if the death? What if the death field off the bird, instead of being a field, right? Instead, it's a family tree style form of chain lightning, in which every time the lightning hits you, it's invisible lightning, by the way. Um, you roll a death check. Ah, and if it doesn't go affect you, then it bounces back to the next person until someone dies. Now, granted, this form of death chain lightning can take anywhere from zero to infinity years to for somebody to fail the death check. Yeah. So, you know, you never know. Now some uh, some malevolent god had to come up with a spell. Yeah. To make Just that tell Ruben It's like it's that? like out of a like one it, you know, you have to roll one on the you have to have a critical failure on the D20. That's the you in order to yeah, die, but you, you're dead. Um no. Did you know Don't that uh amongst the so. top 10 most uh Highest. Lucas, what are you doing? Uh, wow, 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 wow. I told you. I'm going you got your blankie friends. and your sunglasses in the dark dead, room and you're going to sleep. Not, I need to go find them. All right. Look, I am so what do I know? The top so 10 groups I can't leave them with alone. the highest with uh, with life expectancy yeah. on the planet yeah. I've include try, Jesse. Uh, Seventh Day Adventists just, because yeah. of their diet. Uh huh. And so, like, it's super restrictive, and it's, it's, it's like, you can do what you want, but they so tend to be like, you should eat. It's a form of extreme kosherism. You should, you should eat clean stuff. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. And, uh, that, that, that makes a lot of sense, but, like, so, some people go more extreme with it and just go like, yeah, don't even bother with the meat. The meat's okay, but you should don't even bother with it. Yeah, that's fair. And, unfortunately, and that's what, that's what, like, Bob's doing. But, then we're gonna, like, fry up some big steaks. Yeah. So like, I feel kind of weird sometimes when we're like eating these big bloody steaks at the same time. Yeah. That's like this tofu thing. Yeah. But uh, that's, probably that's weird. I probably shouldn't. So here's the the only the only thing you can feel weird about like that is if you're dining with a vegetarian or vegan that's doing so for like moral reasons. And they're like, oh man. Oh, and geez. like, they yeah. may not necessarily say anything. They may be too polite, right? Yeah. But like, that's still weird, right? Yeah. And, well, if the person is hey, kind of like. Exactly. Okay? If they're upset at the idea of your meat, I mean, like, let's let's switch are. it around a bit. Let's we let's let's so, let's else. say we live in a world in which cannibalism is technically legal but frowned upon. Got it. And you're having, I'm having dinner with you, and I just pull out like a whole baby, okay, and just start chowing down. Right. 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 And like, that's weird. Yeah, I, I guess. But I mean, at the same time, it would be like, how are you doing? Well, you can you can take just go to go to somewhere where they actually serve dog, for yeah. example. And as much as people like, here's the thing: as much as it's like you know, like there's fucked up jokes and all that, like there are legit, there legitimately are places that do serve dogs. They're like cattle dog. Yes, like it's a type of dog that you raise for meat. Yeah, uh, Ari Shafir talks about going to a bunch of countries where they're like, no, that's dog meat right there on the menu. Yeah, that's a dog. That's normal. So it's it's not. It's not like an ignorant, dumb, stereotypical well, the, thing to the say. Well, the real trap it's like, is, no, there, is you, that it's I, legit. I become upset when you say that. Yeah. Because of my internal heart. Exactly. But, so, but, just mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna do uh, the reason I do that is because dogs are are loving and Petra, friendly and smart you know and loyal. And then I'm like, oh, but pigs You're are too. too. Yeah, sure. Pigs are I'm adorable. Of course. And Chickens can be really fun pets. Really smart, actually. Yeah. Pigs are much smarter it's than dogs. Safe. You can have a, a good time with a, with a pig. You can have a good time with a chicken. Yep. You can have a good time with a cow. Cow. You ever see cows sitting around like dogs? Like no. their feet between I'm their legs. You're not oh yeah, I seen that. That's no. hilarious. So you know, all that to say is, uh, it's just your arbitrary choice of what animals matter. 
So let me let me make a but, but, let, let me make a modest proposal to, sure. to you. We okay. Need to stay okay. And rest. So we've established we that the eating of meat oh, is separate Patrick, from morality. Yes. So what about them Maybe babies? Right. Um. Gross. Have you ever read a Moss proposal? I have. It's great. I have. And I'm aware of of, of how and what where that. What about that goes. that that veal long pig? But but here's the but I mean like if you were to take out the if you were to just like Left put aside the abject in. horror of the of the, the the nature of what you're asking. Yeah, that's right. And just get down to brass tacks. It's like yeah, oh, well that feasibility. Well that that could be a really cool person that you're eating. Yeah. And that would suck. Yeah, it could be Jesus. Like, what if money was delicious? You know? I'd eat it. But then you you wouldn't have it. Yeah, I know. So that would be the problem. Well... I guess Not I'd be dead lie. then. But I guess so. Worse, right? Also, what if you got eaten? You wouldn't like that. Oh, no, going? that's why it's... That's why it's my responsibility to make my person? body as disgusting as she possible. insulting me. You know? There's a lot the of problems with I'm eating the baby, yeah. besides the, the obvious, is, is all I'm yeah. trying to say. I don't know. I think we're doing a bad I job. Keep telling you. Like you and I'm me? Eleanor. Or like humans? I think... And oof. I know this woman exactly. <laughs> I wow. Sense we have a I think about it. Hmm. Think about it. I feel like no. I need a no. Humans are doing okay. I'm sorry. But we are doing a bad job. Yeah, I, I mean, know. there's we could be in a lot worse of a situation. Right I think now. I think I'm doing all right. And like we got the internet. Like I and that's pretty cool. Yeah, the internet's cool. Internet, internet lets us. I don't know what like we can have a couple decades of bullshit. Because the internet kind of like it has enough porn to distract us. Oh yeah, the internet's a big one. Yeah. The internet's a big, big. Do like that internet. Imagine if we we if we invented the internet before, like other modern contrivances. Okay, how how far back are we talking? Industrial revolution. Okay, you're talking the internet comes along with the industrial revolution. It comes along. It comes along with like the telephone. Simultaneous. Yeah. So even before that. Okay. So I'm it sure predates like be. cars. Ca yes. But I want to okay. It's like it's like we go from like letters and telegrams to I'll like you know and Morse code However and stuff I like can. that. Well, I'll tell you right now. Now then. You think we're tell isolated now? Story. Think yeah. about how yeah, isolated sure people would be in which hanging out with somebody carried a risk of death 100 percent of the time. I don't really feel like company. Hey, you want to go hang out with your aunt? Okay, three days ride. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Three days ride. Uh, plague. Um, food. Yeah, plague's out there. Dysentery. Eating babies. He's like... There would be really no good reason to leave home. Yeah, no, ever. Like, why would you go to L.A.? Why would you do oh, that? Oh, especially in that era? Like, what, get the fucking plague or some shit? Ruben! From... From LA? Unless Steven Steele proposes the steel ball run, I am not crossing the the, the great American Don't run land. Off on me. Although in okay. hindsight, it is pretty cool that you could go somewhere and just and nobody would know what it is. There's that. There's also the fact that like your horse is doing all the work, really. Yeah. And then you get all like fucked up in your dick. Riding a horse sucks. Oh man, well you gotta saddle that shit, dude. You still get all fucked up. You do, but saddle horse are the worst. But you get significantly less fucked up if you have a saddle. Yeah. You ever rode a horse? No. Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> I like how dismissively you said it until you remembered that you actually. Did. I also rode an elephant. Sure. Yeah, at the park safari in Granby. Was it a close call? What do you mean? Did like the elephant get scared? No. Oh, because I have a mouse? Something like that. That's... It was a half hour. I was, I was that was terrible. I was forming it. No, I have I have stories of, of fucking Granby Zoo, but they're not yeah, about fuck, an elephant. Yeah, fuck that. You, did you ride a horse for real, or did you, like, baby ride a horse? I baby rode a horse. Ah, oh, fuck that. What, did you ride a horse for real? Yeah, fuck yeah. What, were you chasing after the cutlass guy? In Grenada. Petra, you sure Part of the okay? Rough Riders? The field uh, down the street from where I lived would uh, had a guy that had horses, and he'd bring them up there every weekend. Yeah. And he'd give he'd give kids lessons on yeah. how to ride a horse, and it was pretty fun. And uh, 
we all remember like enjoying it and taking it for little trots and learning how to gallop. And then one day, the one thing that the guy always says to everybody is don't stand behind the horse. And then one day a girl stood behind the horse. And he literally couldn't say it any more than he said it to people to not do it. But there's always going to be somebody who wins a Darwin Award. Wait, Darwin Award? Seriously? No. Okay. But it was really bad. I can imagine. It was really, really bad. Oh, what good has ever come of that? In fact, I don't know how she ended up. <laughs> oh! That story ends with, I Jesse, don't know what happened? She went to the hospital. On, and you never it saw her It was really again. bad, and I never oh, saw or heard of her it's again. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. So don't stand behind the horse. Do not. What you don't he said it you are to the point that it was danger. annoying. <laughs> and she still did it. Obviously. It's, it's, it it no, baffles I my mind so hard. It's like, uh, it's like I remember in shop class, random. you know, in, in fucking high school, right? Yeah, yeah, And yeah, you're yeah, soldering yeah. things. Yeah. Or and we're running the bandsaw. Like every, god, like five band. minutes. Like, uh, the teacher, I forget what his name was, really old. Just like, ambulance. watch your hands! That amulet. Don't put your hands near the Gabriel blade! Doesn't have that amulet. Solder with Jesse your hands does. at the edges what? of the board. Right? Okay. Just over and I over and know. over. Yeah, yeah. And people got fucked uh, up all the time! You. It's, all the it's time. unbelievable. I mean, Jesse, I soldered a little bit of metal to my hand. Because I, wow. I just wasn't... Nothing can wow. I wasn't stop thinking, those right? Things. Just yeah. a little, Nothing just a small burn, but right? And I went, ah! And he said, that's why you watch your hand. And like, the one kid always is a fucking Jesse's idiot with the bandsaw. Wife. Yeah, the bandsaw, the jigsaw, uh... Bandsaw to me wild. is the most, like, if fucking I hadn't seen it with my accident eyes. prone of the Because ball. you just slide so, right in. Yeah. I'll give you this you, you slide right in and you don't even feel it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not particularly handy. Like, I, I've helped my dad build a couple things in my youth and did chores, you know, that kind of thing, right? Yeah, I, I, I learned to be handy when I started building sticks. Yeah, sure, right? And and I've I'm a little more handy with electronics because I've I've There's I've fucked around on the internals, right? Yeah, I built a computer. I built a computer. But yeah, we all did that. Dad taught me something really important when you're using the bandsaw. Yep. And that this is, is like okay, you're going to be cutting wood you with a bandsaw, right? Ideas. What that means is that you have a shit ton of spare wood all over the place because you're you're cutting it, right? How to bring the storms and the draw your line. Together. Hold your hand on the side and orders. use another piece of wood to, to push, push it through. Of course. Never, 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 unless Wait, you're like a master obvious. fucking carpenter, simply use your hands to push the whole thing through. There's no reason for you're it. You're begging to get your thumb sawed off. The There's no reason for it. Storms. And he told me that, to and then I went man. back to the house, uh, you know, we're before my folks moved out uh, to a new place because they retired. Oh. Um, yes. and Dad's, uh, uh making some bullshit now, in the no backyard, and I watch him doing exactly what he always taught me not to do. <laughs> and he cut himself. Actually, there you go. Yeah. yeah. No. And, and he almost cut two of his fingers he, all the way off doing it. And I'm like, Dad. You mean stole it? Dad. Yeah. Yes. And he's well, like, ah, I've done this a million face. times. Like, no. No, you're ignoring the act, the real well, core of the lesson. Yeah. 